So um, for those of you that have been practicing with me, you know that I like to bring in an intention at the beginning of every class. Um, this intention, so one of the many texts, because you know yoga has been around for hundreds of years and is based on a lot of study of the mind, of the body, of the breath. And one of the texts that's utilized to base this, and it's a science, it's not a religion. Hinduism is a religion that's sometimes brought into yoga, but yoga itself is a science, right? So it's not based on belief systems, it's based on scientific um, study that's happened over hundreds of years. So um, one of the texts that's utilized is called the Yoga Sutras. And one Yoga Sutra discusses the concept of Sitham Sukha. And in Sanskrit, that means steadiness and ease. And that's the suggestion on how we should show up for ourselves. Now, we know life in general is typically not steady and easeful. A lot of times there's a lot going on in our lives. There's a lot going on in the world. And even our bodies, our emotions, our mind fluctuate constantly, right? That's the one thing that we can count on is the nature of change within existence. But we can create a space of steadiness and ease within ourselves and within the practices that we incorporate to keep us balanced and steady. So that's to say, choose those things that bring you to your center. Choose those things that give you peace and practice them consistently. And with that consistent practice, at least you know that you're showing up for yourself with this regularity. So, um, this concept of, of sitha sukham, steadiness and ease, also pertains to the way you practice. So some people, they show up and they give it their all and it's too much. So you can't show up with regularity. It's more about showing up and doing just enough so that you can show up on a steady basis. And sometimes that just enough is just barely getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes it's really, you know, pushing your body a little bit more. Um, but recognizing what that sense of steadiness and ease means to you in the moment, because like I said, as we get out of our practices and step into our daily lives, we can't control that. The one thing that we can count on is there's going to be a bit of chaos and, and um, unexpectedness within our lives, but we can control the way we show up for ourselves. So play with that if it resonates with you. If not, discard it and we'll keep moving into it. So I just like to start our practices with a space of mindfulness and, and a light type of meditation. So what's important as we do this is to make sure the spine is upright. If you are sitting in a chair, make sure your feet are flat on the floor. And if your feet don't cut comfortably touch the floor, maybe place blocks or books underneath your feet so you can support an uplifted spine. And then once we find that, you can rest your hands on your left thighs, maybe palms facing up on your lap, but in a position that the shoulders can comfortably land stacked on top of the hips, if that's accessible for you. And then once you find that structure, close your eyes, And just take this moment to commit to staying as aware of yourself. So that means try not to let your mind wander off out of this present moment. Try not to let any kind of external sounds or noise or things that might be going on outside of the room that you're in. Try not to let it distract you. And just let yourself really give yourself the gift of being as present with yourself as you can throughout this practice. And then we can become even more embodied, feeling our physical body in this moment by doing um, what some people call a body scan. So as I introduce a part of the body, allow your mind to really go there and be in that space 
and receive the information you're receiving from that part of the body, meaning the sensations that you're experiencing um, and try not to judge it, right? You might be injured, you might feel a little off. Try not to judge it as good or bad, just be observant of what you're feeling and sensing. So initially we're gonna start by taking our awareness to the feet and just feel your feet rooted down into the floor. Even connect to the sensation of being connected to the earth. Feeling that grounded sensation. Even, even allow your body to feel a little bit heavier here. So you can really just anchor into your body, into this present moment. And then allow that awareness to start to move from your feet into your ankles. And then from your ankles, move your awareness into your calves. And just notice and just be there. Try to keep the mind focused and steady. Shift the awareness into your knees. Start to take that sense of really feeling anchored into your body, into your upper legs, your thighs, your hips, and take a moment and pause there in the awareness of your hips. If you're familiar with the skeletal structure of the hips, try to imagine that beautiful bowl of your hips holding your spine, kind of holding you upright, carrying your organs, your and just feel that awareness of being in that space, occupying that beautiful bowl of your hips. And then start to move your awareness up the spine. And again, if you can picture what the vertebrae might look like, try to imagine the, the structure of the spine as you slowly move from the tailbone up from the lumbar spine, the cervical spine, the thoracic, all the way up into the neck, observing those natural little curvatures of the spine as well. And then take your awareness to your chest. Create a slight lift and softening in your chest as if you're trying to aim your heart to the sky a little bit. Take your awareness into your fingertips, into your palms. And as we continue to scan the body, it's helpful also to give yourself some kind of positive reinforcement through gratitude. Just being grateful for this body that you have right now in whatever state that it's in. And then take your awareness into your wrists, making your way into your forearms, your elbows, your upper arms, finally making your way into your shoulders again. And then allow your arms to relax a little bit more. And then trace it up into your neck. Maybe see if you can relax your jaw, your tongue, your cheeks. See if you can soften the furrow of your brow. And then take a moment just to be aware of the body in space from the feet to the top of the head. And as you truly occupy that space, now we're gonna start to draw our awareness to the breath. And if you can, we're gonna do this breathing in and out of the nose. So first, just let yourself focus on your natural breathing. Feeling the gentle sensation of your natural breath as it enters and exits the nostrils. And your inhale and exhale are probably a different length, right? Our natural breath is kind of erratic, so try not to control it yet, just observe. So 
So now we're going to start to gradually take deeper breaths. So we have a very large capacity in the torso for the breath. So see if you can first start by relaxing your belly and see if you can send the breath into the belly. And as you inhale, feel your belly gently expand. And as you exhale, feel your belly gently contract. And if the breath starts to move a little bit higher up, as you inhale, fill the belly, fill the lower ribs and the space up beneath the shoulders. And then you exhale from the shoulders, the lower ribs and into the belly. Trying to connect to that gentle wave-like movement of the breath. Inhaling from the hips the belly all the way up to the shoulders and then exhaling from the shoulders all the way down into the belly. So take a few rounds just like that at your own pace. Just make sure your breath is a little bit slower and a little bit deeper than your natural breathing. And keep connecting to the sensation of those waves of breath moving in and out of the body. And we're gonna hold here, keeping our own personal internal focus just for a couple moments. Trying not to let the mind wander. Letting each breath bring you more and more connected to yourself in this moment. Maybe reminding yourself of that intention of Sitham Sukha, steadiness and ease. Keeping this awareness of feeling fully present in your body. Fully present with yourself in this moment. Doing your best not to allow yourself to be distracted by anything outside of this present moment. Take your left hand on your chest, on your heart, and your right hand on top of your left. Take a deep inhale and feel your chest rise up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna release it out of the mouth. Take another breath, just like that. Inhale through the nose, feel the chest expand. And release that breath out of the mouth. Come back to your natural breathing, release your hands down, and go ahead and blink open your eyes. Okay, so even as we're moving, make sure you're connecting to that deep breathing in and out of the nose. And when we're moving a particular part of the body, almost imagine that breath moving to that part of the body. Okay, so first we're just gonna start with gentle neck movements. So make sure that spine is nice and upright. Inhale, look over your right shoulder and even turn your gaze as far to the right as you can. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look to the left and shift your gaze as far to the left as you can. 
Exhale, look forward. Let's do it again. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, look right. Shift your gaze. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look left. Shift your gaze. Exhale, look forward. So now we're gonna take the right ear towards the right shoulder. So now we're stretching the left side of the neck. Pick your head up, left ear, left shoulder. Pick your head up, right ear, right shoulder. You can even take your right hand to the opposite side of your head and give it another gentle little tug. Don't strain or force anything. Try to keep the left shoulder relaxed. You're gonna release the right hand down and pick your head back up. Left ear, left shoulder. Stay there or take your left hand to the right side of the head. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And release the left hand down, pick your head back up. Arms to your sides, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Keep your hips grounded into the chair and then lift a little taller through the side ribs. Exhale, lower it down. Do it again, inhale, reach up. Get tall, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, reach up. And then this time, you're gonna lower your right hand down and gently reach your left arm over to the right. Inhale, bring it all the way back up, lower that arm down, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms, lower your left hand down as you reach your right arm over. Inhale, pull it all the way back up and exhale, lower it down. Um, bring your hands out in front of you with your palms facing up. You're going to try to keep your elbows high for this one. And then bring your palms to your shoulders, keeping the elbows lifted. And then press your palms away. Okay. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away. We'll do two more. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away, palms to the shoulders, press it away and release it down. Start to circle your shoulders back. And then circle your shoulders forward. Relax the arms. Taking a little twist here. Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg and your right hand behind you. And then look over that right shoulder. Try to keep the lower back lifted. Try not to slouch. So you're lifting and twisting. See if you can keep your feet flat on the floor and your knees pointing forward. Untwist back to the front, and then we'll twist in the other direction. Right hand to the outside of the left leg, left hand behind you. Try to keep the knees pointing forward, feet flat to the floor, and twist looking over your left shoulder.
and gradually untwist back to the front. Excellent. Okay, uh, I'm just scooting back a little bit so you can see. Um, interlace your fingers behind your head. You're gonna keep your elbows drawn out, but try to exaggerate, opening your elbows a little further back. Again, we don't want to strain Sitham Sukha, so do it to a position where you feel comfortable, but you're getting a little bit more open, and then draw the elbows in. Good, try to keep the shoulders relaxed. So as you're doing this, make sure you're not shrugging the shoulders. Keep the shoulders relaxed, open the elbows. So we're using the scapula, the shoulder blades and then draw it back in. Nice. Inhale as you open the elbows. Exhale as you draw them back in. Again, two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. One more, inhale, open. Exhale, bring it back in. And release the arms down, maybe shake it out a little bit. Good. Um, interlace your fingers again. This time, try to press the palms away from you. And as you do, tuck your chin in, round the spine a bit, and try to press into your shoulder blades. So we're trying to round here. <laughs> yeah, good. Release your hands, slowly unround all the way back up. Now take your hands behind you. If you have a chair that you can grab onto and that feels comfortable for you, go ahead and do that. You don't have to, but from here, we're gonna try to lift the chest. Now only if it feels comfortable, start to release the head back. But if you feel a strain in the neck or you feel like you're pinching off your breath, you can keep your gaze forward. But think about pulling the shoulder blades in, lifting the chest high, getting that nice arch in the spine. And slowly bring it all the way back up. Excellent. Okay, keeping your feet hip width apart. Um, stay where you are, but I'm gonna give you a side view so you can see what we're doing with the spine. So from here, hands to your knees, you're gonna reach your chest forward and pull your shoulders back and do your best to create a little bit of an arch in the spine. And then as you exhale, you're gonna do the opposite movement. So chin in and round it again. Good. And then we're gonna reverse it. So inhale, open it up, shoulders back. Think of your sit bones curling back. And again, rounding, chin in, belly in, ribs in, round the shoulders forward, really nice. Let's go for one more. Inhale, open it up, shoulders back, chest reaches. And then exhale and round. This time you wanna feel that tailbone kind of tilting towards your face. and slowly bring it all the way back up. Okay, we're gonna do this next movement for the wrist. So bring your right palm, like you're, yeah, saying stop. <laughs> and then take your left hand and gently pull the fingertips of the right hand towards your body. Good, and you don't wanna lock out the elbow there. Keep a slight bend in the elbow. And then reverse that movement. So now your fingertips are pointing down. You're gonna use your left hand to gently pull the right fingertips towards the body. And release it, maybe shake it out a little bit. Do it with your left hand, palm facing away. 
Use the fingertips, uh, use the right hand to pull the fingertips of the left hand towards the body, keeping a slight bend in your elbow. And then the wrist is now gonna go in the other direction, so fingertips down, use your right hand to gently pull it in towards you. Good, let it go, shake it out a little bit. Okay, uh, for the shoulders again, reach your arms all the way back up. Now you're gonna bend your right elbow and use your left hand, grabbing onto the right elbow with your left hand and very gently pull it back. So again, it's important that you're not moving into a space of strain. So don't force anything here. Okay, release the arms. Now you're gonna sweep your right arm across your chest and then use your left hand to hook the forearm. So you can stay here just like this, or if you wanna get a little bit more of a neck stretch as you're stretching the shoulder, you'll take your left ear towards your left shoulder. And then slowly pick your head up if it was over to the side. Now release the arm. And again, feel free to shake it out if you need to. So we'll take it over to the other side. So inhale, arms all the way back up. This time we're gonna bend the left elbow. Use your right hand to grab the elbow or, or the forearm, whatever you can comfortably grab. And then very gently pull it back. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed, right? Try not to shrug, see if you can relax them down. Always focusing on that deep breathing. Gently release the arms. Now we're gonna take the left arm across the chest. Hook it with the right. And you can hold it here or you can start to bring your right ear towards the right shoulder to deepen the stretch on the left side of the neck. Slowly pick the head back up, release the arms, shake it out a bit. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more so you can see the rest of me. So now we're gonna focus on the calves. Uh, you can't see my feet, but you can imagine what I'm doing. <laughs> um, first, Starting with your left leg, you're gonna stay on the ball of the foot and just lift your left heel. And then drop it down. Lift your left heel and drop it down. Lift your left heel like you're coming into tippy toes. Drop it down. One more. Lift the left heel and lower. And then we'll switch sides, going with the right. Lift the right heel. Lower down. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. One more. Lift. And lower. Okay, and, and make sure your spine is upright as well. So as we're focusing on the legs, make sure you don't start to slouch. Keep it lifted. So now back to the left side, keep the heel on the floor and see if you can lift the toes up off, the, the bottom of the foot up off the floor. And then lower the left foot down. So the heel stays down, but you're gonna lift like you're flexing your toes towards your body. 
and then down. And if you want to match the breath, inhale, flex the toes towards you. Exhale, lower. Inhale, flex. Exhale, lower. And then take it over to the right side, keeping the right heel on the floor. Inhale, flex the toes as you lift. Exhale, lower. Keep the heel on the floor, flex the toes towards you. And lower. Inhale, lift. And lower, one more. Inhale, lift. And lower. So couple options here. The first one kind of holding to the chair. If you can, you lift the knee up off the floor, lift the foot up off the floor and lower down. Um, another option would be to interlace your fingers under your thigh and lift and lower. Lift and lower. So don't worry about how high you can go. Just try to pull it up, keeping the spine upright and take it down. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift the knee, lift the leg. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Take it all the way down. Switching sides with or without grabbing the thigh. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And let it go. Okay, now we're going to keep the right knee facing forward and open the left knee out to the side. Hopefully you're in a chair that will allow you to do this. So we're close to a 90 degree angle here. Now, if you can't open it all the way up in the chair, maybe just scoot the leg a little bit further to the side so you're a little bit wider. From here, bring your left forearm onto your left thigh and reach your right arm over your ear. So you're stretching the right side of the body from the hip all the way over to the fingertips. Try to keep your chest open. Excellent, really nice. And again, connecting to the breath. Now we're gonna play with the neck rotation a little bit. Look down towards your left knee. Look up towards your right arm. And it's okay if you can't rotate all the way. Look down towards your left knee. Look up towards your right arm. And then come all the way back up. And we'll switch sides. Bring that left knee forward. Keep the left knee tracking forward. Open the right knee out to the side, getting as close to 90 degrees as you can. Take your right forearm to that right quadricep or upper thigh and then reach the left arm over. And roll the shoulder back a bit, trying to connect to that lengthening from the left hip to the fingertips of the left hand. And then we'll play with the neck rotation. Look down towards your right knee. Look up towards your left arm. Look down towards your right knee. Look up towards your left arm. And take it all the way back up. And bring that right leg in. Okay. So for the next one, it gets a little tricky in the chair, but modify it however you can. So we're gonna start with that left leg out to the side again. You can keep the right knee tracking forward, or if you can, you start to lengthen that right leg behind you. 
Now it's okay if it's just a little bit, right? Or you can take it nice and long, but see if you can get into the upper thigh, the inner hip area stretch there. And then from here, you're gonna face that left knee and reach your arms straight up. Now, if this creates strain in the shoulders, you can bend your elbows. But trying to face that left side as you lengthen through the inner right thigh. Really good. And then just focus on deep breathing here. And then gently release your arms down, bring yourself back to center. Start in that neutral position with both knees pointing forward. And then switch it over to the other side. Start with that right knee pointing right. And like I said, you can keep that left knee there and extend the arms. Or if you can find it, you start to reach that left leg a little further back. So you can get deeper in the stretch in the inner hip area. And then facing the right, you're gonna extend your arms up. Feel free to bend the elbows. If that's still too much in the shoulders, you can take your hands to your hips. And then focus on your breath. Slowly release the arms down, untwist to face forward. Good, okay, we're gonna do a forward fold here. Um, I'll give a few different options. For this one, we're gonna keep our feet as wide as the hips, maybe wider. And first option is just to rest your forearms on your thighs and just let the upper body hang. If you can go a little bit further, you can let your chest drape between your thighs and really focus on releasing the neck and shoulders. So keep your chin tucked in. Try not to lift your neck at all. Excellent. Just hang there, hold it and breathe. Unless it's making you feel dizzy, then you can come back up. Okay, take your time coming up. Keep a little engagement in your core to support your back as you lift all the way back up. Excellent. Um, and then we're gonna finish off with one more set of cat cows, the flexion of the spine. I'll just join you here a little bit closer again. Stay where you are. I'm gonna give you that side view so that we can focus on what we're trying to do with the spine. Hands to your, your legs, knees hip width apart. Here we go. So reach the chest forward, draw the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, pull it in and round. Round the shoulders, pull the chest in, pull the tailbone towards your face. And then do it again. Inhale, open it up and reach, 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 reach. Exhale, pull it in and round. Nice, one more round. Inhale, reach it up and open. Exhale, bring it in and round. And slowly bring it all the way back up. Awesome, okay, so I just wanna guide you through a brief kind of closing meditation and breath work. And I'm really grateful for all the feedback and for your participation, and I hope it keeps moving forward this way. Okay. So let's go back to feeling our feet grounded, that uplifted spine, find the position for your hands that feels comfortable for you. 
Close your eyes and go within. And as you focus on your body, observe how you're feeling right now. And maybe you can sense a shift from the beginning of class to now. And again, become aware of the breath. Take a deep inhale through your nose and fill the body from the belly up to the space beneath the shoulders. And then exhale out of your nose from your shoulders all the way back down. Inhale, filling the body from the belly up. Exhale, emptying out from the shoulders all the way back down. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale. And then find your way back into your natural breathing. So now we're not controlling the breath, but we're still focusing on in and out of the nose. and maybe offer the intention to bring that idea of steadiness and ease with you throughout the rest of the day, recognizing that we can't control what happens outside of us, but we can focus on trying to create a space of ease within us. And then we'll close with two final cleansing breaths. So bring your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your left. Keeping your focus on your heart center. Deep inhale through the nose. Let it out of your mouth. One more inhale through the nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Place your hands down. Namaste.